we've had our first winter snowstorm. Follow along today and see what happens. Good morning, homesteaders. It's uh, uh, February the 7th, uh, Friday. I think that's right. And winter has definitely returned to southwestern Pennsylvania. It was uh, nearly 70 degrees here uh, early on in the week. So things have definitely, definitely gotten snowier. Spin you around. There's my wife's car. I actually took her to work today, so didn't bother cleaning it off. But I don't know. We got, I think we got maybe four or five inches of snow supposed to get one to two but it uh, really hasn't let up too much but can't complain a whole lot because uh, we really haven't had any winter uh, except for today this entire year so yesterday I uh, finished up my my gardening tool I uh, won't be using that for uh, <laughs> a few months but it will warm up uh, you know it is what it is uh, I used to like winter whenever I was a kid, but uh, now it just makes work a little bit harder. But it is pretty. This morning all the trees had snow on them, but we're getting wind now, so it's just kind of blowing stuff around. I don't really know if it's snowing anymore or if it's just snow is kind of blowing around. So, But I'm going to do a couple chores here around the house. Uh, got, a, got an electric snow blower that uh, I actually received as a gift last year for my wife so uh, gonna get that out first time I've got to use it all year so gonna get that out and just clean off the porch at least and I'll make a little walkway down this way uh, so I don't know exactly where I was but my dad just called me and uh, he's uh, concerned about the snow on his porch so we're gonna go down and uh, take care of him and take care of some of our stuff here so, I'll be back with you in a little bit. seems to fail that whenever you get bad weather there's always something that seems to be broke flat tire on the truck but thanks to Harbor Freight I was able to get it fixed so I hope you can hear me but I got this little gadget here uh, 
This tire wasn't completely flat, but uh, it was a little bit low, so I put it on here. I couldn't get it to work on the other side for some reason, but I guess uh, after I got the air tank and filled it up and brought it down, then it decided to work. So, farm living. That little device there is an Air Hawk. Uh, it's a, a rechargeable air, air compressor. Uh, Actually, my wife bought that for me for a couple Christmases ago, and I was a little bit skeptical about the thing, um, but it's gotten me out of a couple of jams. Um, it's nice just to be able to carry that thing around instead of getting the uh, getting the giant air compressor tank to bring with you. So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm pretty pretty happy with that little thing uh, I was like I said a little bit skeptical about it when I got it I figured well maybe I could pump up a basketball or a football with it um, but but it will it, it, it's not gonna pump up a tractor tire or something like that uh, maybe a small front tire um, but it, it 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 for like a car tire or a lawnmower tire or something like that it's just a lot, lot handier like I said this thing's got me out of a couple jams uh, we're at a flat tire and it would have uh, you know, I'd have to run, get the air tank, bring it down, you know, get it filled up, bring it down to the tire. So, uh, it, 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 it's been a nice little gadget. And it, it, so far, so good. I've pumped up many tires with it. Uh, I just keep it charged up and uh, on the ready. And when I need it, I can just grab it and go. It's no no bigger than like a, a, a cordless drill. And it, it weighs almost nothing. I mean, you can throw it in your truck or anything. So, um, if I think they, I think they run around like fifty or sixty dollars, uh, so they're pretty inexpensive. Especially if it, they pump up one or two tires for you and get you out of a jam, it's probably worth that. So, just a little endorsement for that product. Uh, like I said, uh, I really like it. So there it is. It's the Airhawk Pro. Um, it'll actually measure in uh, PSI and bars uh, but yeah comes with a couple little attachments here <coughs> for like pumping up uh, like uh, <coughs> basketball or football something like that or <coughs> but it really really works pretty well and so far like I said it's um, it's come in handy many times so there you have it so we're just out today doing the normal chores dumping some water right now here in my holding tank so, walk down here what's going on what's going on blossom what's going on huh Cows chewing their cud a little bit, enjoying their hay. So, kind of a crappy day here. Not a bad winter day, but I wish the wind would stop blowing. It has slowed down a little bit right now, but it uh, was blowing there for a little while. Everybody was hanging out in the shed, but they're all out. couldn't get you turned around there they're all out eating some hay I try to keep it when it's snowing I try to keep it on the other side of this building I pull a little bit inside too so if they want to go inside and get something to eat they can stand out here and get out of the wind a little bit there's Blossom she's checking out the water huh? you getting yourself a drink Get yourself a drink. So. Get around here. I don't know if you can see down in there. That's the water holding tank holds 500 gallon. So usually you have to put a couple hundred gallon in it every other day. It uh, it runs in there, but uh, it's pretty slow. So. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off here for today. Uh, hope where you are, you stay warm and dry. And uh, 
we will see you on the next video.